went for a walk on the Sunday morning. How did you know my lyrics? How did you know my lyrics? I, I don't know. I oh my just, God, like, dude. Oh my did God, we just oh cite some of them? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Titans out there, it's been one month, one week, and a day maybe since my last update. So you know I had to put a video out for Titans Season 4. We have some really juicy stuff and teases to get into. Such as a couple of episode stills, which we definitely can speculate and theorize about. As well as some more teases from Joseph Morgan. Plus, looking at a concept of a brother blood suit that could very well be how it could kind of look in Titans Season 4. Four. So go ahead and like this video that always really just helps spring the video out there in the YouTube algorithm And hey, if you're finding yourself brand new here You want to stay up to date with anything Titans and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy some other videos on the channel Do hit that subscribe button, but let's get into that first update I want to visit the Joseph Morgan teases first of all because there's definitely quite a bit we can talk about there And thanks to the Twitter page DC Titans Brazil. I do recommend following them They post little tidbits whenever there's even something minute to follow with the production of season four. They posted a screen recording of Joseph Morgan revealing some pretty sweet info of teases of things to come. Now, I believe this was a little private session or a private live from Joseph Morgan that was posted a little while ago now, but either way, there's some uh, pretty interesting teases that he gives in the video. So I'll give the floor to Sebastian Blood, AKA Brother Blood himself, and we'll discuss. Uh, let me give you a real quick update on Titans. Um, so we're about halfway through filming and it's, uh, I'm really having a blast with this part. I think that you're really, really going to enjoy the show. Um, everybody who's involved now in, in the cast is, is openly saying and feeling like this is the best season ever and I'm, I'm so excited to be a part of it. The character I'm playing is, is just phenomenal. They're giving me such terrific scenes, emotionally charged and uh, conflicted moments, like I've said to you before. So I think you're really gonna be confused about who to root for, you know? And uh, uh, there's a real journey. It's an origin story of a villain, like I said. So when I start off as Sebastian, it's really, uh, he's really, uh, a lonely, conflicted guy, and you're going to see what he goes through to become what he becomes. Now, I can neither confirm nor deny that there is or is not a super suit for Brother Blood. But if there were such a suit, I may or may not have already done a photo shoot in said suit for whatever press release or whatever is coming. Mm-hmm. And if that happens, yeah, one pause. <laughs> and if that happens, uh, then uh, hopefully it'll be happening soon. Personally, I really adore that video because he really gave us some teasers there, some heavy teasers. But let's start at the beginning. So Joseph Morgan goes to emphasize somewhat what we already know, but it's also really somewhat invigorating, even as an audience here to see how much fun not only he is having, but the whole cast, because he does say everyone involved in the cast feels like this is the best season ever of the show. Now, of course, some people, as usually when things like this are said in videos when I'm breaking it down, of course they're gonna say that. But either way, it's encouraging to know, and I'm sure it is sincere, and I have heard through the grapevine that people involved in the production are like, seriously though, this, like this genuinely does seem to be like the the best. So Joseph Morgan only going to reaffirm that here is it doesn't really come a surprise to my ears. So either way, this season should be a lot of fun. He goes on to say that it is a phenomenal character he's playing, Sebastian Blood, as we know. He's got terrific scenes. They're emotionally charged. He has conflicted moments. If you don't know really what I'm on about there, I've mentioned many times before in previous videos that when we pick up with Sebastian, he's going to be, well, as Joseph Morgan, Morgan says here, quite a lonely, conflicted guy, and as you progress through his story, since it is an origin story for that of Brother Blood, I mean, they are obviously the same character, but it's more of like, you know, going from a cocoon into a butterfly, but albeit kind of a... A dark butterfly, I guess you could say. And I love hearing him say that you're kind of got to be really confused as to who to root for. And that is the best recipe 
for a villain, if you ask me. A villain that isn't so black and white, ha ha ha, I'm just gonna, you know, rule Middle Earth for the sake of it with my one ring. Not really dunking on Sauron there, but you know, it's just the first thing that popped into my mind. The best villains are the ones where you can at least see where they're coming from. They might not view themselves as a villain, or even if they're doing dark deeds, arguably some really messed up scenes that it sounds like we might be getting in Titan Season 4, you do still feel compassion there. And I am very, very confident we will get that with Joseph Morgan's portrayal, his natural talent for playing characters like this. So again, without dragging on and repeating myself from previous videos, this is music to my ears and it should be yours. Honestly, my most hyped thing about Titan Season 4 is the villain honestly, and that of the casting of the villain. But at the same time, don't expect full-on brother blood right away. As he says, we're going to see what he goes through to become what he becomes. So we're not going to get brother blood like episode one, two, three, four. I expect that we might not even see the super suit until sometime into it, but I can't really confirm whenabouts it will be. It's the same thing with Tim Drake's Robin suit. I'm sure we will get that this season, but I don't think he'll get it until past the midway point, possibly near the back end of the season. Speaking of the super suit, the blatant teasers here are incredible and in where he says I can neither confirm or deny that there is or is not a super suit for Brother Blood. Then the long pause he gave. But if there were such a suit, I may or may not have already done a photo shoot in said suit for whatever press release or whatever is coming. Now we've known, and then there was another long pause, we know per Titans previous seasons we do normally get suit reveals such as Blackfire, Starfire, Red Hood. I thought that we would have had Beast Boys by now, but not a huge deal. Every day closer that we get to September, October-ish time is another day closer to when the Titans Twitter, Instagram account, etc. will be starting to reveal things like this. Now I can't tell you exactly when, but again, he's already basically shot photos for the press release in the actual Brother Blood suit for the show. And that is something that I am absolutely dying to see because Brother Blood's suit usually has like a skull-esque, you know, helmet or crown, I guess you could say. There's various different iterations of the Brother Blood armor. And Titans, one thing that I adore about this show, because some people will say like, yeah, but what about the writing here and there? It's not always, but I'm just like, there's still a lot to love about this show. And that is the production, the cinematography, and that of the cast and their super suits from LJ Super Suits. I'm sure you're familiar with them. They've even designed suits for the boys. And I am so intrigued to see how they bring Brother Blood's super suit to live action. And a good friend of mine, going by the name of Smart Sheep, he's an insanely talented digital artist. A little while ago now, I said, hey man, like, you know, it'd be cool if you did a mock-up, because he, I know he's extremely capable of this, of the Brother Blood suit. So recently in a Discord call with him, he got around to start making it, and, you know, I gave him a few pictures. He was looking at some pictures, we were looking at the different armors, and obviously he he made the freaking thing, but it was, it was great witnessing him add all of these different textures to it, trying to, like, like modernize the suit in a way that LJ Super Suits would. But obviously I can't guarantee you what you're seeing on screen right now is going to be what it looks like. But it's just a really cool concept art from that other fan in that the most important thing that he, Sheep, strived for and, and what I tried to give him ideas with is maintaining the authentic look but also how would they ground that? Because a lot of the suits are fairly grounded from that of their comic book counterparts. We decided to not go with a helmet, even though Sheep did say, I'm not sure if he's released them by now, but he was going to do hooded variants because, for example, the Church of Blood billboard, if you will, in episode one of season three, that little Easter egg in the background that teased this season's villains, the guy did have a hood on there. But either way, I didn't know, and we both kind of agreed, are they really going to put a skull on there? Maybe they will. Maybe we're wrong. We're not even saying that they won't. It could be more of, instead of like an actual bone skull like you're seeing on screen right now, maybe even with horns, they might even as Sheep was discussing as well, add it into more of like a crowny tiara-esque kind of thing. He might even do variants of that artwork as well. So do keep an eye on his Twitter. I do recommend following him. And Joseph Morgan, I believe today, even quote tweeted it saying, great fan concept art here. Very talented artist. I agree. He's, and, and honestly, I'm just looking at it on screen right now. Everything that I'm looking at here 
seems extremely achievable by LJ Supersuits. I know this might and most likely won't be exactly how it ends up looking, but you have a bit of the bone-esque armor brought in there from what we were just discussing. The shoulders, the boots look very achievable to do. You have a bit of gold trimming there as per what a lot of the Brother Blood suits actually have. And then you just have Joseph Morgan looking badass in it with a little bit of a churchy-esque, you know, backdrop there. So let me know what you think of that. I just wanted to add that here for a bonus because it is really, really, really cool. And since we were talking about the super suit anyway that Joseph Morgan was teasing, I guess this could tide us by for the time being as to what his character Sebastian Sanger could look like as well when he becomes fully brother blood in that super suit. So up next is another couple of teasers from Joseph Morgan. I do recommend following him on Twitter. I, I maybe already do. But we have a fan saying we need official promo. He says it's coming. I mean, of course it is, but when? I need to know when. It would be nice if we got something fairly soon, maybe even around the time of Comic-Con. Who knows? But that reminds me, the DC Titans account also replied to a fan saying, so DC Titans is going to be done filming by September, two-ish months, and we haven't even gotten a teaser pic. DC Titans, make it make sense for me. And they replied, don't worry, we've got some stuff cooking. This could be in the form of an actual mini promo, but I wouldn't be surprised that the same time if it's things like hey here's what beast boy's suit actually looks like or maybe even releasing that around the same time as sebastian's brother blood suit a fan then asks joseph morgan the ending will be joyful or sad and he replies depends whose side you're on that's really interesting to hear i'm now wondering if this could end and this wouldn't surprise me if it ends tragically for sebastian like everything he's trying to do dreaming of changing the world the journey he goes on a lonely somewhat confused guy clearly getting way over his head in when he becomes brother blood it could end with maybe a potential death and since he's such a character that the audience can empathize with i'm wondering if someone like dick grayson's nightwing and even the titans such as raven having quite a bond with Brother Blood this season. Despite some of the stuff he might do, it still might be quite sad to see whatever his ultimate fate is. So that's what I'm gauging out of when he says, depends whose side you're on with regards to it being joyful or sad. If you're on the Titan side, obviously you might be like, yeah, 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 Brother Blood's down. But then again, if you're kind of still empathetic and maybe a little bit, you've got one foot on Brother Blood's side, it could still be a bit sad. And I think that will ultimately be it. But who knows? Brother Blood might not die. It just might end very sadly for him regardless. But let me know your predictions either way. And if you're wondering how much filming season four has left to do, we have a fan saying, how long is left for the last shoot? And Joseph Morgan replies saying about six weeks, which could line up nicely for an October release. If you ask me, you know, when shows even release, in, for example, season four, let's say it releases October, they, they still usually might be editing the back half of the season, etc., etc. So it could be October-ish. We're going to have to wait and see. But yeah, six weeks left of shooting. And as I said, if you're wondering about promo and stuff like that, we're getting close to actual promo stuff. And hey, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be here first covering it. Okay, so lastly in today's update video for season four of Titans is a couple of episode stills. And I thought I'd check this in here because there's quite a bit I can say to be honest so here we have ryan potter's beast boy and this image might not seem like much especially as i'm kind of looking at here on the screen but there is actually a bit more to it so here we have him in a little bit of a pose if you will but notice the little kind of wrist strap now we've seen peaks of this little wrist guard wrist strap whatever you want to call it throughout most of the season so far and it has led fans to quite a few theories with regards to beast boy's suit so more or less you've probably already gathered this this wrist strap is very like the very device that allows Beast Boy's suit to release and form around his body. Likely in that of a similar way, maybe I'm showing on screen to Blackfire in season three. So it might be comprised of nanotechnology that kind of he might activate kind of in Power Ranger mode, if you know what I mean, and it somewhat engulfs his body. And I'm pretty confident about that one. But if that is true, that would be a really, really cool little CGI effect to see because, you know, it was pretty sweet on Blackfire. And if I am right about that, the fact that he's in this pose here, I think this could be the very first time that Gar is testing it out. Now more to this picture is the actual background because given that this could be the very 
very first time he's trying it out, I think that he could be within Star Labs because they're going to Metropolis this season. We know they're going into Star Labs. It just makes the most sense that Gar is given a device. Dick kind of hits someone up in there being like, hey, we've got a Titan here. He could, you know, fans have also been asking for a suit for freaking ages. <laughs> but like, can you get him something? They sort him out with this little wrist strap and this is him trying it for the first time, maybe within Star Labs. Don't forget as well, this will likely be around the same time as per a lot of rumors that we're going to be getting Lex Luthor this season with a brief but memorable appearance as per the rumors go and we know that this Star Labs is in Metropolis so if you put one and one together there so it looks like the first few episodes in including the Beast Boy stuff is getting into some long awaited stuff that Titans fans have been itching for. I'm also wondering if going to Star Labs could also help Gar kind of realize his potential to transform into other animals as well. Lastly guys we have a still of Dick Grayson and Starfire. Dickery could very well be happening this season. It is a big want from fans to pick up the flame that was flamed in season one, if you know what I mean, and the somewhat relationship they've had since then, you know, not really being ever tapped into, but clearly a connection that has been low-key there for the entire time, not to mention the Lazarus Pit kind of you know, vision that Dick Grayson got of their freaking kid. Do you know what I mean? So uh, this, you know, I can't really read into this still too much other than, you know, if, if anything, it could be a little comparison for the tunnel vision that the fans have for Dickery and really actualizing it through that, well, or manifesting it this season. As we know, they are the mum and dad of the Titans, so they could be having a conversation as what to, the heck to do in whatever episode is being filmed in this moment. So I don't really have too much more to offer about the Dickery still other than just saying, hey, look, Dickery. So that just about wraps up today's Titan Season 4 update video, guys. I apologize there isn't anything more tangible to give you. Although, to be fair, some of those teases we got into earlier were pretty sweet. So thank you, Joseph Morgan, as always, for keeping the fans in the loop. Uh, so other than that, guys, I'm just interested to hear your thoughts on my thoughts. Do you have anything regarding theories or anything else? Just comment down below. I read every single comment, so dying to see what you have to say. If you want to follow me a little bit more, stay up to date with Titans. As I've said a few times, do subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate a like. Likes do go a long way, so especially if you got this far, just hit that thumbs up button. It takes two seconds of your time. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all those links are in the description down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you fellow Titans in the next video. Goodbye.